Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys, I'm back in London, a different angle. The opposite side of my place, because I just love this mirror, it's everything. Isn't it everything? But anyways, so much to talk about, Love Island USA, messy as hell, we've got a lot to get onto. So many hot topics that have come out just in the past 24 hours, guys. Serena has reached a million. And hopefully Janae is next. It looks like Serena, Leah, Janae, Rob, and probably Miguel are going to be the five members from this season that are going to reach a million. Hey guys, that's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with this daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get straight into this. You guys are buying these Love Island reunion tickets for August 19th. I am absolutely shocked. I announced it yesterday. And early bird tickets have sold out and the first round has nearly sold out with one ticket left of the first round and then there's the last round left. It's not even been 24 hours. You guys are coming through thick and thin. Buy your Love Island reunion tickets August 19th in New York because it's gonna be gang gang. The link is in the bio below and in the pinned comment. It's gonna be everything. I can't wait to do a event. First event was amazing. It was the vibe was on 10 when Serena and Cordell won. Also, all of the finalists, all of the islanders from the season are also going to be in New York at the same time recording and filming the reunion. So that buzz is going to be interesting that they're also going to do a watch party event. The first watch party was everything. It was a bar, restaurant vibes, food was there, a drink was there. We were all celebrating TVs everywhere. We're going for a different vibe this time. It's in the event description, but it's going to be like a lounge vibe and there's going to be like snacks, popcorn machines, wine, you know, maybe even some hookah, shisha as well at the same time. Slow R&B jams, like a reunion is cozy, chill, relaxed vibes. Do you understand? We know who's won. We followed the Islanders for a couple of weeks since coming out. Now they're going to get into some drama. Let's get into it. That's the vibe that we're all going to be on this time, August 19th. And a venue will be announced, of course, shortly as well. So buy your tickets because they're going way faster than I expected. Way faster than the finale event. And I'm just like shocked. I'm speechless. But let's get into this. Where Rob's nudes have leaked. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's doing spread eagle. Everyone's nudes are coming out. I don't understand like what, what is happening here. Rob, I'm not surprised by. Kendall, I was surprised by. Rob, I'm not surprised by. I feel like Rob is somebody who gets around. No shade. I feel like he's been around the block. How many times has he been around the block? I don't know, but I feel like he's been around. So I'm not really surprised that his news have leaked. Again, people who are recirculating them and talking about it, don't do so. It's revenge porn. And I think that, you know, people should know this by now. But and even though I disliked Rob on the show, the energy should be kept the same. Just because you just dislike somebody doesn't mean that revenge porn is funny for them or it's okay. I also feel like when it's revenge porn of a man, people think it's okay to laugh about and I don't know why. Um, because if it was a girl, a woman on the show, people would have been moving mad. And I just don't think that it's fair that this has gone round. Scorn lovers who are, you know, dropping these revenge porn stuff because they're bored. May you lot be covered in lawsuits because it's insane that people think that they can just do this. Um, but just like Kendall, spread, spread eagle child. Where, who it was going to? I honestly don't know. Um, Kendall has been reacting to his leaks quite well. He's taken it in. And, you know, just said that it is what it is. And I'm glad that he's done that. I'm glad that the girls and boys are around him. And it looks like him and Nicole clearly aren't together at this point. Because outside of mandatory tasks, like them going to Universal Music Studios, Nicole is hanging around Andrea and making t and TikToks. If Nicole can go to Andrea's yard, go to her house and make TikToks, why haven't you done anything with Kendall? It's giving the relationship is done and over. It's giving that these whatever took place with Kendall has turned off Nicole. Something's happened because she even forgot to say I love you back in the finale episode anyways. So it's not really giving to me. Not only that guys, but the girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting and I am screaming at what they're saying to each other on TikTok. Like truly this reunion is about to be gang gang. I just can't get over it. So Sierra says um, to Kane, Oh, uh, babe, I thought you liked Timu. Isn't that where you got your teeth? <laughs> and he responds, Oh, someone's mad, mad that Harrison's been in my DMs more than yours. Ouch! Now, I don't know why Kane thought that this was a lick back, because it wasn't really a lick back. Why are you saying to somebody's girl, your man's in, in my DMs more? What are you trying to say? Are you trying to come out or something? Like, I just... I, yeah, it's not really much of a read. But my girl said that she thought you bought your teeth 
from Timu. Do you understand how crazy that is? Timu, not even Alibaba, not even Amazon. Timu is where you want to go and buy your 25,000 teeth. Wow. The girls are fighting. Clearly Kane's not holding back either. I'm glad because we need some drama for the reunion because I feel like the finalists are all huddled together. But they are doing mandatory tasks. They're not there by choice. They're really not there by choice. Now, Leah went on her Call Her, Dad Call her Daddy podcast right after Rob. And of course, you know, it's gone viral. It's doing really well for her. Talking about how Miguel was a breath of fresh air. She felt like she was embarrassing her family. She was spiraling every day. She comes from, you know, not a rich family, which I thought she did. Um, her mom is a biologist and her dad you know, um, works... Um, is a CFO. And they come from Iran. They worked at McDonald's. They grinded. And, you know, she doesn't blame anyone for how they acted because it was an intense environment. And I'm glad that she has that very mature outlook. She said it was when Rob called her delusional and said, wake the F up. She was in a lot of pain and held Rob in high regards that the production were calling it Rob Island and that everything was about him and agenda and etc. That she obviously was going through a lot of, you know, mental related stuff and that the psychiatrist or psychologist on site had to come see her to make sure that she was okay. The Rob crying argument, she felt so unwanted and everything bad she ever thought about herself. It was swarming in her head. She threw up after that conversation as well. Now, I don't know why there's conversations about dating Kanye West that we don't need to know that, number one. And number two, when she was addressing going for Connor, Janae's man, I felt like she wasn't taking enough accountability herself because Janae's meant to be one of her besties and you're taking her man at that point or you're trying to or you're intercepting it and I feel like she wasn't taking as much accountability. That's only that's the only L for Leah. Um, I felt like she needed to just be a bit more like, you know what? I own it. I fucked up. I wanted to stay in the competition. I liked him too. I did things I shouldn't have been doing. We were in the early stages of our friendship. That's what I feel like she should have been doing, but she didn't. But at the same time, you know, I feel like her going on this podcast was a good move. It makes people like her a lot more. I feel like she's going viral once again. She's accumulated over 2 million followers now, 2.1 and even 2 million on TikTok. So many brands are in her comments below and she's going to be very successful. It's nice to also see her, Janae and Serena on the outside in the PPG format, making their TikToks. It's like, I feel like Serena is more of a TikTok girl and them all coming together producing these these videos i think is hilarious and fun to see it's nice to also see janae and kenny out and about kenny and these denim jeans child he is not going to take this stuff off he is dressing like the dominican that he is from new york it is killing me he is really doing what he needs to do and they're very cute together i'm glad that kenny's instagram is also back miguel is currently in london I'm currently in London. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, it's good to be back in London, guys. Um, but I don't even know, guys. I feel like I might move to New York. That was so random for me to say, but I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing it. Um, and everyone's obviously like, you know, my girl's in London. Like, what are you doing? Like, you know, you should be with Leah. Like, guys, he's from London. Of course, he has to come back to London to sort out business, see his friends, see his family. And then he has plans to go to LA. And I feel like, you know, this is where a lot of the Love Island USA fandom are losing it and becoming loose cannons. Now, granted, we've had a great season of Love Island. The Love Island USA season, they've all gone viral. It's been great. Everybody loves the couples. But... The way people are enforcing their love upon these couples, these couples are going to feel a significant amount of pressure. And this is something that I wanted to speak about because the fact that people are saying that Janae and Kenny are Mr. and Mrs. Basically saying that somebody said that they're, and the tweet went viral, that they're pretending that Janae and Kenny are married. It's been like two, three weeks, babes. They were, they've been together for like two, three weeks. In what world would they would they be married in two three weeks stop enforcing so much pressure upon these couples and let them do what they want to do the less pressure you enforce upon them the more that the, 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 they're gonna last and i just feel like these islanders are probably feeling that pressure after the buzz of this slowly begins to go away that there's so much on them to do xyz to be married to be seen if kenny is seen with a girl in a bar which could be his sister his cousin people are gonna lose it and i feel like people are becoming unhinged and are just doing so much and and yeah, it's a great season. It's a great cast, stellar cast. Absolutely agree. But I feel like people need to just chill a little bit with trying to enforce the pressure of Serena Cordell, Janae Kenny, Leah and Miguel must do X, Y, Z. How dare Miguel go back to London? You know, and Leah's here, Miguel's there. It's like, what's going on? Relax, guys, relax. Get off these people's backs and chill. Time will tell. We're even seeing a reunion. So, you know, the fact that they're doing a reunion for the season is great to see anyways. The reunion event is going to be lit. I cannot wait to see you guys there. The first one was gang, gang. And the fact that you lot are showing up so hard like this, I'm speechless and eternally grateful. I am so grateful. Like, honestly, I'm so grateful. And me, I'm meant to be doing a Love Island UK event. 
this Monday. And honestly, guys, I don't feel like doing it. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I honestly don't. It is the shittest season of Love Island and Love Island history. So shit that the cameras went off, child. My ring light said, I don't want to hear part of this conversation. The ring light turned off. Like this conversation of Love Island has turned off when it comes to the UK. The UK season is that dead. My camera said, it's enough, please, don't talk about it. Because the, the, the minute I speak about this dead Love Island UK season, look what happens. I'm so sorry. If it's not sorcery and witchery, I don't know what it is. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It's just one click to subscribe, baby. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.